What appears at first to be a regular combat knife can transform into a deadly projectile with the push of a button. This is the ballistic knife, the most illegal blade in the world. While most early prototypes were powered by a spring mechanism, modern ballistic knives can be far more lethal, some even chambering handgun rounds up to 45 ACP, providing deadly force at a greater range. The ballistic knife started appearing in Western culture during the 1980s. Nobody knows exactly where it came from, but the crude design, simple materials, and faint scent of grease pointed to the Soviet Union. On this alone, rumors and stories began to spread about the origin of these unconventional blades. Maybe it had been created for the Spetsnaz Special Forces, the KGB, or Russian divers. Many of the first designs used a rotating peg to secure the blade in place, holding back the force of a hidden spring inside the hollowed out handle. A safety pin was added later on to prevent accidental discharges. This made operation into a sort of grenade-esque experience. Pull the pin, press a button, and the blade would separate from the handle, launching off its spring to a distance of several yards. But the spring-powered ballistic knife was just the first and least lethal in a long line of unhinged gun knife hybrids. A more dangerous example was the Russian NRS Scout Firing Knife. This combat fixed blade also featured a hollow handle, but rather than containing a coiled spring, it held a single shot firing mechanism chambered in SP4 silent cartridges. A small cocking lever was tucked into the exterior of the grip, and a manual safety switch was integrated at the butt end next to the trigger. With a barrel length of about 60 millimeters, the NRS was only accurate over short distances, making it a tool for truly desperate situations. But the more obvious design flaw was the opposition of the barrel and the blade. No matter which weapon was needed, the other would always be pointed back at the user, meaning it often presented more risk to them than the enemy. Basic iron sights were cut into the crossguard, leaving the open blade nearly level with the shooter's eye when firing, requiring a strong grip to prevent being impaled by the recoil. Although it was possible to discharge with the sheath on, providing some protection, the built-in wire cutters would block the sights, making it nearly impossible to aim the gun. While the NRS was almost a worse design than the various bayonet-inspired knife pistols and knife sabers made over a century before the Russians, several other implementations of the idea were occurring around the world. In 1981, Native American artist Jim Powell would create the Powell Knife Pistol, or PKP. It featured a buoy style blade and a top-mounted break-action single-shot derringer. A number of variations were produced, firing everything from 22 to 45 ACP. Rather than a dedicated combat tool like the Russians made, the PKP was intended more as a hunting device, providing both a way to dispatch and then skin whatever game was unlucky enough to be caught on the receiving end of this unique combination weapon. Perhaps the latest iteration of this idea is the Arsenal RS-1. Unlike the single-shot design of previous gun knives, the RS-1 includes the upgrade of a six-shot revolver firing 22 short. Despite being a low-powered cartridge, the small size allows the entire shooting mechanism to be housed within the handle of the blade. This gives it the advantage of concealment when compared to the PKP, while the forward-facing barrel and thumb-deterring pin make it safer than the NRS. The downside? A resale price of about $20,000. Although its birth may remain shrouded in mystery, the death of the ballistic knife is well documented. After its rise to popularity in media during the 1980s, US lawmakers passed a federal ban on spring-powered ballistic knives in 1986, despite evidence that they were less effective than a common throwing knife. Ironically, the more deadly fire-powered gun knife hybrids remain allowed in some states, though they often require additional NFA paperwork to purchase. Weapons like the Arsenal RS-1 and Russian NSR have found a unique spot in the convergence of both gun collectors and knife collectors, driving them to sky-high valuations. But that's just the price you must pay to bring both a gun to a knife fight and a knife to a gunfight at the same time. Subscribe to hear more knife stories like this.